that will work. <laughs> Look, there's a new case available on the ticker type. New case. Everybody dance now. What the heck does that mean? Hey! Ben, I hear music in my brain, and it's making me want to dance. <laughs> me too. It's kind of fun. Um, I can't stop. Yeah, me either. I'm thinking this is probably a bad thing. The ticker type said everybody dance. Think this is happening to everybody? Yay! Bimo is in permanent dance mode. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Jake, we gotta find out what's causing this. But first, we need to find a way to keep that music out of our brains. Do we have any earplugs? That music's in our brains, man, not our ears. What we need is psychic earplugs. Is that even a thing? No, but I have an idea. Remember that recipe for that killer seafood dish that Prismo gave us that time? Yeah, pickled sonic squid tentacles. Gave me weird psychic dreams for a week. Yeah, psychic dreams. It affects your brain, dude. Bet if we stuck a couple of those tentacles in our ears, it'd block out the head music. <sighs> it's worth a try. We should have all the ingredients to cook up a batch. Guess we better get started. Sonic squid tentacles! Six of them! Just when we need it! I knew we had some frozen sonic squid tentacles. Only six left. It'll have to do. I'm not gonna use that coffee. That was wasteful. Nah, I don't think so. One pot of water, ready for boiling. One dash of PB's super spicy hot sauce. Oh, what the heck? A whole blorp? Six frozen sonic squid tentacles. They're the hero of the dish. Ingredients down, two to go.
Nah, I'm not tired. Yep, nothing but junk. He's dancing. Stachy's dancing and he don't care who knows it. I can't sleep in Jake's bed. I wouldn't fit. Now, pointy. Chunks of psychic crystal for mystical goodness. Only one more ingredient to go. Starting to smell tasty. Too bad we're putting these in our ears. Nobody wants half pickled sonic squid tentacles. And voila! One batch of pickled sonic squid tentacles. Cool. Nice. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, Jake, it works. I can't hear the brain music anymore. That's awesome, dude. Um, how about handing me that other pair? Oh, yeah, sure. Phew, that is so much better. Now we can hear ourselves think, and we have an extra pair we can give to anybody we need to talk to. Where should we start? Let's talk to Marceline. She knows more about music than anybody we know. Come on, Jake. It's time to solve another mystery. Oh man. Just like we thought. That crazy brain music is affecting everybody. We're gonna have to talk to PB and Marceline one at a time. We only have one extra set of psychic earplugs. Well, let's get started. We need answers, Jake. Phew. Thanks, Ben. That's much better. Marceline, you know more about music than anybody we know. You gotta help us. Sure, I'll try. So, what are you and PB up to? Well, we were jamming. Now we're dancing. Kind of obvious, Finn. Where is this music coming from? I don't know, Finn. You heard it. it. Sounds like it's coming from inside your brain, but since everybody hears it, we're definitely not imagining it. Have you ever heard anything like this before? No, but I studied magical music theory for a while at a decent school in the Nidosphere. Only a magic instrument or a really powerful magic spell could make music that affects so many people at once. Jake and me are gonna do our best to find out who's doing this, but if we don't, is there anything we can do to maybe drown it out? Uh, I think so. 
I'm pretty sure a really powerful sustain a tonal sound at the exact opposite harmonic frequency could be enough to disrupt the music. Um, huh? A really awful noise that's the opposite of music would make the music go away. And I mean major bad. But that would probably be worse than the music. I mean, at least we're dancing now. Who knows what effect the noise would have on us? Hmm. Okay, thanks, Marceline. We'll figure something out. You might want to be quick about it. All this dancing's making me hungry. And you know how I am when I get hungry. I'm gonna need the earplugs back now, Marceline. Finn, what are you doing? Do something to help us. Don't worry, PB. Jake and me are here to help, but we don't know where to start. I'll tell you whatever I can, Finn. Is everybody in Ooh affected by this crazy music? As far as I can tell, yes. I managed to get a call through to Peppermint Butler. He said the whole Candy Kingdom is one big dance party. Well, is it really so bad if people are dancing all the time? I mean, it is good exercise, and we might get used to the music. Yeah! We could maybe just make the best of it and go for the all-time marathon dancing record. That would be awesome! No, Jake, it wouldn't. Everybody would eventually collapse from exhaustion. It has to be stopped. What about making more psychic earplugs? They seem to work. There aren't enough sonic squid in all of Ooh to make that many pairs of psychic earplugs. And even if there were, those things smell awful. Any idea where the music is coming from? When all of this first started, I managed to get a few readings before the dancing got intense. Something out in the hills to the south made my chromatometer go totally diatonic. Maybe you should go take a look out there. All right, princess. We'll head out to the hills and see what we can find. Thanks. Please hurry, guys. I'm afraid if we don't stop this soon, everyone in Ooh is gonna dance themselves to death. Don't sweat it, PB. We'll get to the bottom of this. Sorry, Princess. I gotta take back the earplugs. <laughs> Dance, Miniature Candy Man! Dance! <laughs> Please! Make it stop! Ha! Magic Man! We should have known you were behind this! Yeah, you'd think I'd kind of be your first guess at this point when stuff like this happens. Why are you doing this, Magic Man? Because I'm Magic Man, and I'm a jerk. Seriously, though, people like to dance. I'm just giving the people what they want. Did you actually ask them if they wanted it? What? And ruin the surprise? Can't you see that you're hurting people? They can't dance forever. Uh, I see it as helping people. Helping people realize what a jerk I am. I think it might be working. I think everybody already knows what a jerk you are, Magic Man. Well, it never hurts to be sure. You're always doing jerky stuff like this. Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, let me think. Nope, my schedule's pretty much wide open. Magic Man, come on! You've got to stop this! Stop it? Why would I do that? If I do that, things would probably get worse. If you won't stop this, we're gonna make you stop! Oh, you guys are just adorable! Make me stop, please. Anyway, I'm telling you, if you think people are unhappy now, you won't believe how unhappy they'll be if the music stops. But I can see you don't believe me. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. Try to keep up. You know, I really don't like that guy. Yeah, well, I guess we better follow him. But somehow, I don't think he's gonna make it very easy. Yeah. 
Jake suit! We could do better. You know, we could always take another shot at him. Get more treasure and stuff. No way, dude. I'm done messing with any more beehives. When I grabbed that one in the Candy Kingdom, the bees tried to pollinate my face. Yeah, that door is not moving. I can't pry that door open with a sword. That's not working. A hammer? Weird. I've never heard of a hammer well. Most of them just have water. I suppose I can always use a hammer, again. I don't think I should do that. Maybe if I just bang on it with a hammer long enough. Nah, forget it. Magic Man! Oh, hey, you're here just in time. See this candy guy? Yeah! He looks miserable! <laughs> but if I change things, he could be more miserable! <laughs> See? Much worse! Follow me whenever you can! <laughs> this is fun! He's right! This is worse! Help! Uh, come on, Jake. Let's get that candy guy down. We gotta lower him onto something stable so we can get out. Nah, I don't think so. Don't worry, man. We'll get you down. No use, man. Can't reach him. That won't work. Whip! 
playing in the dirt and focus, Finn. That wheel should work just as well as a crank. We should really fix the mine shaft cover before we try lowering the mine cart. Give it up, man. That won't work. Chopping up the boards will only make it worse. should be stable enough to hold the minecart. We can try lowering it now. All right, candy guy. Let's get you down from there. Oh, thanks, Finn. Oh, no! Help! Yeah! Well, that went south pretty fast. Yeah, but it sounds like the mine door is open now. So, that's good. Mathematical! Awesome. I don't think anybody's gonna be using that crane again. I'm free! Sorta. Thanks, Billy Jake. Gotta run! <sighs> Dance! No problem, Candy Dude! Got it. Trunks, what are you doing way out here? Oh, Finn, I was just having a nice picnic with Mr. Pig, but he forgot the ice cream to go with the apple pie. Oh, my. Then this crazy music got in my head, and I just started dancing and dancing. Yeah, me and Jake are trying to fix that. Did you happen to see... Magic Man! Yeah, him. Still keeping up, good. But I can see you're still not convinced that there are worse things than dancing. A picnic alone is definitely worse than dancing, but I'm happy to fix that. What? Oh, man, again? But even worse is a picnic with fire ants. Oh, now you just hold on, you magic jerk, all showing up uninvited and bring an ant to a, a picnic? Magic jerk, yeah, the weird little elephant gets it. And you will too, soon. Don't give up, you're almost there. That guy really needs a hobby. I think this is his hobby. Ugh, come on, guess we're gonna have to deal with those fire ants. combination definitely doesn't work. The sunflower would definitely distract the bees. I don't want them following me. That'll work. The bees are already heading toward it. The nest should be safe for honey gathering. There we go. One jar of honey. Idea, dude. All that honey is luring them back to their nest. Yeah! Nice. Thanks again, Finn and Jake. No offense, 
stupid. I hope I don't see you guys again for a while. Thank you, Finn and Jake. Just in time for another lesson. Come on, man. Another thing that could be worse than dancing constantly. You're being trapped in a hedge. Ah, uh, not again. Why me? Well, I guess it could be worse. A hedge made of poison ivy. No, oh, it's worse. Uh, and it is so bad. Don't let a little rescue mission stop you. You might still be able to catch me. Darn you, magic man! Guys! A little... Ah, help here! Can't talk! Dancing! Why would I do that? Thanks. That crazy music was interfering with my potion-making biz. We're actually glad to see you, Forest Wizard. We're trying to fix this dancing thing, but Magic Man keeps messing with us. Hey, you stopped me from dancing, at least for now. I totally owe you one. I'll help in any way I can. Magic Man has trapped a candy person in a big wall of poison ivy. That's very uncool. You can't just pull him out. He'd still be all itchy. What are you doing out here? I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. Fortunately, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm brewing up some sunscreen potion in my magical distiller. Potions explode sometimes, so it's best to do this stuff away from other people. Do you have any spells that can cure poison ivy itch? No, skin problems are more of a potion thing. Can you make a potion that will cure the candy person's itchy so we can get him out of the hedge? That would take a while to brew from scratch. Hmm. Wait! My sunscreen potion is the same basic formula. It's just missing one key ingredient. What ingredients do we need? Well, really, the most important thing is witch hazel. That stuff cures just about anything. Okay. What do we need to do? If you add some witch hazel to the sunscreen potion, it will make a perfect cure for poison ivy itchies. Or it'll blow up, or both. It's hard to tell. Sometimes wizard science is more art than science. Cool! Thanks, Forest Wizard! I'm gonna need the earplugs back before we go. Finn, we gotta rescue that candy person. We can't just leave him. We gotta get that little dude out of that poison ivy and stop him from itching. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! We made the witch hazel potion! Yeah, it went amazingly well, considering how things usually go for us in situations where things might explode.
Here you go, man. You can come out of the hedge now. Cool. Sweet. Thanks, Dad. I'm normal again. Well, you said for the whole dancing thing. Hey, a happy little snail. Look, it's Magic Man's house. This must be where he's been leading us. All right, Magic Man, show yourself! No need to yell, I'm right here. It's time to end this. So, you're ready to admit there are worse things than dancing forever? What? No, the dancing is bad, it has to stop. Really? And I thought I did such a good job. I must be losing my touch. All you proved was that you can be an even bigger jerk than you were when you started this dance and biz. Yeah, man. You've had your fun. Now you're gonna make it so they don't hear that music in their heads anymore. Hmm. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea. Done. No more music in their heads. No more dancing. You're right, this is way more fun. Although I don't think your formerly dancing friends would agree. Exhibit A. Ah! Ah, that noise! Make it stop! Magic man! Out! <laughs> what now? An awful noise! Way worse than the music! Guess we should take out these earplugs and hear it for ourselves. Yep, that's worse than music, all right. Yeah, at least it's not making us dance. Hey guys, if you're not gonna use those earplugs anymore, uh... Huh? Oh sure man, knock yourself out. Thanks, I'm out of here! Well, I guess now we have to find out what's making this new noise. I think we just did. Hmm, <laughs> what do you want? Lemon Grab, we need to talk to you. What are you doing so far away from Castle Lemongrab? You usually don't like to go outside. My property has been stolen! My beautiful, beautiful sound sword! I will walk around the kingdom in hopes of finding the ones who have deprived me of my pretty article! Why is the Lemonhead making that horrible noise? The sweet lemon songs call to my sound sword! Through their melodious vibrations, the location of the sword will be revealed. Were you affected by the brain music earlier? I mean, you must have heard it. Yes, the noise was unbearable. And the dancing was offensive to us. It was unacceptable. Could you make the lemon head stop singing? Really annoying, dude. No! The lemon songs will continue until my sound sword is found and returned to me. Hey, how about if Jake and me help you? Maybe we can find your sword and bring it back. You... would help me? Hmm... That is acceptable. Well, if we agree to help you, would you make the singing stop? Just for a while so we can concentrate? Hmm, yes, acceptable. But I have already sent all of my lemon gentry to all of the far corners of Oo. If my sword is not found, the lemon song will commence again for all to hear, and it will continue for 100 years. 100 years singing! Phew, thanks. Okay, so where should we start? I will start by returning to Castle Lemon Grab, where I will wait impatiently as you incompetently but obediently do my bidding. Guess we should have seen that one coming. You should start on the other side of the grasslands. Take the left fork through the forest. But keep an eye on Leroy, because I'm afraid that he's possessed. What? Huh? What are you talking about? This conversation is at an end. Come, my lemon minion. Looks like being sewn together from two different lemon grabs didn't change that guy much at all. He's still weird and pretty unpleasant. <sighs> Whatevs. Guess we'd better get started finding that sound sword.